Sue Ann Robinson, that is the attorney representing Shanquilla Robinson's family. She's voicing concerns about the handling of the case. In a recent interview, she highlights multiple red flags in the investigation into Shanquilla's tragic death in Mexico. Video footage showed her being brutally beaten by a fellow vacationer. Despite a public announcement of a decision, the FBI withholds case files, citing ongoing translation of documents. Shanquilla's family remains deeply disappointed but determined to seek justice on the 200th day since her passing. They plan to travel to Washington, D.C. to demand justice for her death. And, you know, Courtney, what is so strange about this story is that the FBI is saying, well, the investigation is still open, mm -hmm. you know, but they've already made a, a decision as to uh, not moving forward with any sort of charges. And so which one is it? Um, and so, you know, there are a number of red flags that still have yet to be answered. And this just is a really strange case. You know, like, you know, where is the FBI at, you know, in terms of making a determination? It just, it seems like they rushed to make a decision without getting all of the information that they needed to make that decision. And so it really makes you wonder what's really going on. Yeah, it's and how much heartbreak when you when you think about the family, how much heartbreak can you continue to experience, you know, as they continue to fight for justice? We'll be talking with activist Tamika Mallory a little bit later on, who's been working very closely with the, the village uh, who are fighting alongside uh, Shanquilla Robinson's family. So hopefully, you know, Tamika will have some insight as to what is really happening and now what the push is, especially after, you know, the FBI sort of kind of turned their backs on this case. So it'll be interesting to hear that. That's right.